Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, the 12th of October. I'm Nivea, and this is ACS Doha Live. ACS Doha Live is looking for a new name. Surveys are open till Thursday. We can vote on a new name, on, um, and also there's going to be a logo designing contest to follow. So I hope you all participate on that. The PSO welcome back to school social and fundraiser to promote the ACA sponsored charity Orbis is organizing a world uh, is organizing it on World Site Day at 2:30 p.m. at Central Court on Thursday. Food will be sold to ser uh, sorry, food will be sold to raise money for Orbis. Overseas trips, sign up for this academic year's middle high school overseas trip has been sent to your parents via email. If you're interested in a water sports or an art trip to Portugal or a Spain cultural trip or even a service trip to Kenya, make sure to go home and talk to them about it and convince them to let you go. Lower school student council grade level represent representatives are as follows. Grade 1, and I'm really sorry if I pronounced your names wrong. Grade 1 is Eric and Mohammed. Grade 2 is Hayden, Chloe, Yasin, Aya, Yusuf, and Ruby. Uh, grade 3, we're still eager, eagerly waiting for the results. Grade 4 is Georgie and Nadiji. Grade 5 is Yumna, Mariam, uh, Galia, Mariam, and Craig. A huge thanks to everyone who's applied for a position and a very big ACS well done for the students who will be working so hard this year to make, <clears throat> to make our school all the more better. As a reminder, the lower school prayer and evening is tonight at 6.30. Thank you all for who attended the middle high school prayer and evening last evening. And up next, let's go to sports. Hello, I'm Oliver and this is Liz Servinger bringing you the sports news live at ACS Doha. Lower School Indoor Athletics this week. Lower School PE Department is hosting an inter-house indoor athletics competition. Grade 2 is going to be today, Grade 3 is tomorrow, Thursday the 13th. Um, and we look forward to finding out which house has taken the win. Um, ACS will be competing at the Interschool um, QPPSSA Indoor Athletics Competitions in the next couple of weeks. Football news. Under-19 football tryouts are Thursday at Qatar Finland International School. The lower school football team tryouts for boys and girls will be on next week. Stay tuned to ACS Doha Live over the coming days for more details. COVA soccer program participants will shortly be taking part in the Qatar Foundation Junior League competitions. There are a few, a few remaining spaces left on the program for anyone interested in signing up. Sorry, technical difficulty. Turned off. Uh, is coming to ACS. Anyone interested should speak to Miss Miss Crawford of the PE department for more information. Practice should continue every Monday, so you can use Crawford for more further information. And for the running club, um, this club began this week, and you're invited to come and run every Monday and Thursday at 6.15 a.m. in Aram Park. If you're looking to lose weight, get fit before the season starts, or just looking to complete a personal challenge, then come along. For more information, speak to Mr. Rowlandson. Up next, World News, our weekly feature. Good morning everyone, welcome to World News Wednesday. I'm your host Nipia. And I'm Karima. And you're watching World News. So Finland resident Rami Adam, a man branded as a toy smuggler of 
Alipo brings smiles and hopes to jo uh, and joy to Syrian child refugees to Alipo uh, one toy at a time. This man's story started last 2010 when he embarked on mission to to and the people of Alipo. His former hometown by using all of his savings to buy food for his year-old daughter, Yasmin, offered to donate her toys in exchange for a new Barbie doll. After this, after this deal was made, Adham then added 25 teddies, te teddy bears and 36 Barbie dolls to his already heavy load. Since then, the amazing man who has established the Finnish Syrian Association to collect donations has been visiting different refugee camps in Syria every two months. Each time brings up 70 kilos of donated toys um, to this war torn country. The nickname Toy Smuggler originated from his efforts to smuggle toys into the country throughout the mountainous border between Syria and Turkey because it has already closed its borders to traffic years ago during this most recent visit in September Adham was completely shut out of his hometown which has become the center of the country's five-year civil war. Despite all these the toy smuggler of Aleppo remains unfathomed. Those moments of happiness fuel his passion to help these children more and more according to Adam. Their smiles and responses charge his batteries. To give them something more to look forward to, the humanitarian recently established a GoFundMe campaign to raise money to build schools for refugee children. In less than two months, Adam has been able to obtain over 60,000 euros and 100,000 uh, euros and he and needs to fulfill his dreams. And that's all for today's World News Wednesday. Hope to see you all next week. Up next, weather. Good morning, I'm Oliver. And I'm Lucinda. And here's the local weather for today. The current temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. Today is going to be sunny and warm. The high today is 37 degrees Celsius and the low will be 26 degrees Celsius. The humidity will be at 51%. In the Doha heat, it is important that we drink plenty of water to stay hydrated, wear sunscreen and a hat. Thanks for tuning in to ACS Doha and have a sunny day.